We're embarking on uh, an operation called an Ivor Lewis esophagectomy. That's an operation to remove cancer of the esophagus. We start in the abdomen. We dissect out the cancer. We turn the stomach into a tube. And in the second half, we bring that tube up into the chest and plumb the stomach tube onto the remnant esophagus. So we are at the back of the stomach. And what we have done is taken all of the lymph nodes that may have cancer in them. And we're about to divide the main blood supply, main artery to the stomach. Right now, I'm making a tube out of the stomach. That's going to replace the esophagus that we take out in the chest. And then the stomach tube gets pulled up into the chest and attached to the uh, end of the esophagus. We've turned Janet onto her side. Um, and we're going to operate through the right side of the chest. I've drawn on the scapula, or shoulder blade. I'm going to make an incision underneath the shoulder blade, across the back, open the ribs, and get into the chest. Now we've got to the stage where the esophagus is mobile, and we've prized it away from the airway. So your windpipe comes down and divides into two. One goes to the left and one goes to the right, two pipes. And these are those two pipes. That's going to the left lung, that's going to the right lung. Then right next door to the back of the heart, which is there, and the big blood vessel, the aorta, that carries all the blood to your body, just there. Okay, so the moment of truth, we can now pull, hopefully, the esophagus up out of the uh, chest. This is the stomach tube that we made earlier in the abdomen, brought up into the chest and joined on to the esophagus there, right at the top of the thoracic, or chest cavity, where it becomes the neck. So we've taken out all this office that was here and replaced it with the stomach.